In this video, we will show you how to edit Yoast SEO fields using an intuitive spreadsheet. You will be able to edit hundreds or thousands of posts, products or any other post type that is compatible with the Yoast SEO plugin. For this, you need to install and activate the Yoast SEO plugin and the WP Sheet Editor plugin. Note that the WP Sheet Editor plugin you use will depend on the post type you are going to edit. In this example, we will use the WordPress post spreadsheet, but you could use the WooCommerce product spreadsheet, or the spreadsheet that is appropriate for your post type. In the description of the video, we will leave the link for you to see which spreadsheet fits best. You should also make sure that the post type you will edit is compatible with Yoast SEO. The spreadsheet will display all fields, including the ones added by the Yoast SEO plugin. You can edit everything in one place. Here we have the SEO title, description and keyword fields, and we also have SEO fields for social media, and other useful fields. Unlike other bulk editors, WP Sheet Editor allows you to edit all Yoast SEO fields. WP Sheet Editor allows you to use any Yoast SEO field as a search parameter to filter your WordPress posts. For example, we can search for all posts where the option to prevent search engines from displaying them in search results is enabled. For this we need to open the search tool and tick the advanced filters checkbox. Now we need to select the SEO no index field, the equal operator, and tick this checkbox. Finally, click on run search and the search results will be displayed in the spreadsheet. As you can see, the posts returned by the search have the option enabled. The active search filters will be displayed above the spreadsheet. Another example is to find all posts that have no SEO title. For this we can open the search tool, and tick the advanced filters checkbox. Now let's select the SEO title field. The equal operator, and let's leave the value field empty. As you can see, our search returned all posts that do not have SEO title. As we have shown you in these two examples, you can use any Yoast SEO field as a search filter. Let's see how to find all the posts that do not have featured images for social networks like Facebook or Twitter and how to edit them quickly. Let's start by opening the search tool and ticking the advanced filters checkbox. In this example, we are going to search for posts using the SEO Facebook image field, but you could use the SEO Twitter image field to perform this search. We need to select the equal operator, leave this field empty, and run the search. Now we can locate the column we are using as a search filter, and we will see that the posts shown in the spreadsheet have no featured image for Facebook. They also do not have a featured image for Twitter. To upload the images to the posts we have filtered, we only have to use this button that will allow us to upload or select the images from the media library. We can upload the images one by one, or we can auto-complete to use the same image in several posts. When finished, just click on save to apply the changes to all the posts we have edited. Let's see how to edit all posts that have an SEO title that is too long. To do this, let's start by filtering out posts that have more than 70 characters in the SEO title. Let's open the search tool and check the advanced filters checkbox. Now let's search for posts that have more than 70 characters in the SEO title field. As you can see, we have filtered out all posts that have SEO titles that are too long. We can edit them by deleting words and characters, or we can rewrite them one by one. In this case, we consider it appropriate to copy the post title to the SEO title field because the title of each post does not exceed 70 characters. To do this, we will open the bulk edit tool. In this case, we will edit all search results. Here we need to select the SEO title field. The type of edit we will apply is copy from other columns. And the column from which we are going to copy the values is the post title column. Finally, we need to execute this bulk change. As you can see, there are no longer any results that match the search filters because we have edited the values, and none of the posts have more than 70 characters now. Now let's see how to edit SEO descriptions in bulk. In this example, we are going to search for all posts that have an SEO description with more than 135 characters, and we are going to shorten it so that it is not too long. Yoast SEO suggests that descriptions should be no longer than 155 characters, while other plugins suggest similar lengths. In this case, we will use 135 characters to shorten our SEO descriptions to fewer characters. 
First, let's open the search tool and tick the advanced filters checkbox. Now let's create a search filter that will find our posts with more than 135 characters in the SEO description field. As you see, these posts have really long SEO descriptions, so we can use the cells to shorten the descriptions. Optionally, we can automatically generate our SEO descriptions. For example, we can copy the values from the excerpt field to the SEO description field. Let's start by opening the bulk edit tool. In this example, we are going to edit all the search results. The field to edit will be the SEO description. The type of edit we are going to apply is copy from other columns. And the column from which we will copy is the post excerpt column. As you can see, we no longer have posts whose SEO description is longer than 135 characters. Another excellent idea is to generate a dynamic SEO description for each post. Let's use the post title in this case to generate an SEO description easily. Let's open the bulk edit tool, and instead of copying from other columns, let's select set value. Now we are going to write something like, this is a great article about and then we will enter the title field key. If you don't know what the key of each field is, right click on the column name and then click on show the column key. Now we need to paste the field key and add a period. Finally, we execute the bulk change to generate our SEO description. As you can see, each post has its own SEO description based on the post title. Now we can check if we still have any SEO descriptions that have more than the characters we have defined. In this case, let's look for posts with SEO descriptions longer than 135 characters. And as you can see in the search results, none of our SEO descriptions exceed that number of characters. You can boost your productivity by managing your WordPress contents SEO in an intuitive spreadsheet inside WordPress. In the description of this video, you can find the link to a written guide that explains the content of this video step by step. You can get live chat support at wpsheeteditor.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our videos.